Welcome to CNN World Report, where we present stories as seen by different TV stations and networks around the globe. In this edition... A Taiwanese TV show proves laughter can be most helpful in reducing decades-long tensions across the Straits. And later on... Take you to a Chinese festival that another continent, another conflict. For 57 years, tension has been high across the Taiwan Straits. Since the end of China's civil war, Beijing has considered Taiwan a renegade province. China even adopted a law to launch war on Taipei if it moves to formal independence. Now, a comedy show in Taiwan called Mimics is trying to thaw the ice mood across the Straits. Such explicit pro-independence remarks poses a serious threat to peace and stability of the Taiwan Straits. This is Zhang Mingqing, China's spokesman for Taiwan Affairs Office, who has often been perceived by Taiwanese people as an intimidating figurehead of China. But that is no longer the case. Someone wore a mask posing as our president Hu Jintao in the demonstration, but told reporters that he was an intern. What an insult. Imitating that same poker face and stern tone of voice, Taiwanese comedian Tai Chi Ren's flamboyant impersonation has surprisingly turned Zhang Mingqing into a popular celebrity in Taiwan. He never been to Taiwan. How does he know everything about Taiwan? So. And this part will make you laugh. That's what I'm doing. Zhang is just one of the many politicians and celebrities being targeted by the TV show Mimics to make fun of the island's political and social anomalies. As Taiwan's most popular comedy show, Mimics offers many Taiwanese an escape from the endless turmoils within Taiwan's politics, as well as its troubles with China. Many people feel suffocated in the current political chaos. So by producing the show, we hoped to amuse the public by mocking those responsible for the mess. But interestingly enough, the show has actually turned some of the subjects of its ridicules into popular stars. Former Democratic Progressive Party Chairman Su Zhen Chang, for instance, owes much of his popularity to his impersonator and a catchphrase that he made up. The show has won Taiwan's Golden Bell Awards for Best Comedy in 2005, as well as numerous fans on both sides of the streets. Zhang Mingqing, for one, is so impressed that he's eager to meet with his Taiwanese twin. Perhaps we can have a show together, he says. While Zhang may be retiring soon, his impersonator, however, is not worried about being out of a job. Mr. Zhang Mingqing, when you retired, can I replace you? Can I? If you replace you, can you take me with you? No. Through their impersonation, the show has certainly brought laughter to people from both sides of the straits who are weary of the lingering hostility of Taiwan and China. And sometimes, laughter is all it takes to break the ice. This is Victoria Jen of CTI-TV for CNN World Report.